Uh, I know that R Richard Branson is one of your heroes, but he also turned you down when you asked him to back you in the early days, didn't you? Do you hold it against him? You, you, you. <laughs> I, I don't think it's 100% correct. <laughs> let me tell you the story. <laughs> Almost nothing yeah, has been. Yeah, well, <laughs> let me tell you the, the, the story. Um, I, I did um, mention that I was looking at entering the airline business generally. I didn't have a, a, an easyJet type business model in mind. And, and the way that came about is because at that stage, Virgin Atlantic had a franchisee in Athens that was a Greek company and had one aircraft operating between Athens and London under the colors of Virgin Atlantic. And that company was in need of capital because it was going out of business, basically. And they came to me asking for capital. And as part of their due diligence, I came to London, mm. met with Branson, discussed whether you know, that's the right investment and everything else. And either because I was too arrogant and I wanted to build my own brand or whatever, mm. we never managed to do business. Mm. Okay. So, um, Not quite true. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've become a brand in yourself in the same way that Richard Branson is synonymous with Virgin, but there are many, many more brands that aren't synonymous mm. with the entrepreneur. Does that, I mean, are you an important part of that easy brand, mm. do you think, now, just as Branson is? When, and, and is that a good thing? When, um, when I started the shipping company you heard about, which is not easy branded, I called it, I named it Stelmar, <laughs> an abbreviation for Stelios Maritime. Because I was trying to achieve something specific, I wanted it to be known as Stelios' company, not his father's. The working title for the airline was Stellair. So I was going down the path of trying to involve my name in the naming of the business. I decided I shouldn't be that sort of self-centered in the sense that um, I, I, you know, it's more difficult to pronounce, basically, Stellair or whatever. Mm. And it would have been very funny if you got into Stell Pizza and Stell for Men and <laughs> <laughs> all the other companies. So I, I decided that the name had to be, the brand had to be you know, something like Easy which is extendable over different industries. Um, I'd like to think that the more mature companies can carry on uh, independently of me. I think people will continue to fly EasyJet, whether I'm, you know, I'm around or not. Um, certainly outside shareholders would like to think that that's true. Mm -hmm. you know, are you going to invest in a business that is so centered on its founder that you can't operate without him or her? So, you have to give outside shareholders comfort that that business they're investing in has future. But um, when you start a business on your own, um, there is no better way to make it attract some free publicity than to put a face on it. Mm. Because it's as simple as that. Media, like well, people like to read about people, not companies. Mm. And therefore, the media talk about people and not the companies. And therefore, if there is a personality around, the, the media are more likely to print about it or, or talk about it than if it's an anonymous startup you know, where the founder is nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, a, it's a cheap way of getting uh, publicity at the beginning where you have no money to, to buy it any other way. Uh, you, um, you avoided or wanted to avoid talking about con conglomerates, but you, with the use of the name Easy, ha are in fact running a conglomerate. And I'd like to ask whether you in, 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 uh, in practice spend a lot of time on the weak links in the, or the weaker investments and ignore, I, yeah. to a detriment, the really good ones that could grow faster? I, I, think, I think it's an excellent question. Um, no, we're not a conglomerate because each company is separately capitalized. So the losses of Easy Internet Cafe did not reduce the earnings per share of EasyJet. It's as simple as that. They're separate companies with separate capital, separate profit and loss accounts, separate management teams. The only risk is I get distracted. And that's why um, I think there is a rule of thumb that Branson has always been mentioning, that you have to allow about the rule of a third, a third, a third. <laughs> so a third will be doing well, a third will be doing okay, a third will be firefighting. And, and arguably, that's why it's difficult to grow fast, because at any given time, you always have some some things you need to firefight about, and therefore you can't focus on the others. But if only I knew which ones I would you know, <laughs> need to firefight, I wouldn't have started them. <laughs> but unless you try, you don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to stand here and telling you, tell you that um, you can make money without risk. People who say that, they're usually lying. You know, if you really want 25% IRR, which is what some... You know, fund managers are, are promising, it means they are taking a, a significantly higher risk than 
than in other scenarios, and therefore you have to accept occasional failure. If you're happy with 5% IRR, put your money with HSBC. <laughs> <laughs> the interest rate is not even five, is it? Four and a half, whatever it is, for deposits. Gentleman over there. Um, I think uh, EasyJet is, you know, is excellent. Um, excellent value for money and it's fantastic. Um, and uh, you know, I use it a lot, my friends use it a lot. Brilliant. Um, Thanks. The, the, only, the only thing... Um, Tell I, all your friends, by the way. I, yeah. I will, I will. <laughs> all the managers, yeah. Um, the, the only thing uh, I, I want to ask is, would you go into uh, airport parking as well? Because when you drive up, you know, mm. difficulty parking. I mean, what about easy parking? Because, you know, I, I want to use EasyJet and I want to use easy parking, you know. No, I think you should take, you know. I think you should take easy yeah. bus to the airport and leave the car behind. Easy bus, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Uh, on a slightly more serious note, it is something I've looked at, but um, it tends to be um, completely controlled by the airport. Actually, most of the parking space around the airport is owned by the airport, therefore you can't make much of a difference on the cost. So, um, you know, airports, airports make money in every way they can out of the passenger, and parking now has become one of the most profitable segments.